All right, everyone, my name is Kenny. Today's video is going to be all about the LTR 474 and what we had to do to be able to get it to start after the last video. So in the last video, you all did see that I was kicking and kicking and kicking on the LTR. And then my last footage was showing the actual machine running. But I did not state what I had to do in order to get that to happen. So let's check that out. So just so you all would know, kicking became a pain in the butt. So I would highly recommend that if you're going to do the kickstart kit, first make sure everything runs good. Since this is a new build, I'm kind of working out the kinks in it. And kicking it completely sucks. My foot hurts. It's the next morning. So I'm going to go ahead and put the starter setup back on there and just make sure I can get it to turn over with that. And then I'll decide if I'm going to take all that back off later. So I'm going to have to get a new relay because this one doesn't work. But besides that, I just have it hooked up to my jumper pack right now because it doesn't. I don't have a battery because I plan on using a kicker, but. So what you're seeing right now is a classic sign of what some have told me is low fuel pressure. So it enough fuel to make it rev. As soon as you let it, let it off, the pressure is down and then it will die. So I think they're going to be replacing the fuel pump on this. However, it starts, it runs, and if I don't give it gas, it idle. All right, everyone. So thank you for checking out this video. Well, as you see, we did have electric start reinstalled on this. I kicked and kicked and kicked and kicked the other day until I thought my daggone hip was going to fall off, right? So the thing is, I'm not against kicking, but man, this thing has tons of compression. And I did do the shorty kicker on it, so it wasn't so friendly. Now, I know a lot of you all out there ride and use kickers. I do as well, and I have yet to buy boots. So I'm going to be buying boots in the future, and these boots are going to, you know, be better than this cheap walmart shoe here that the kicker feels like it's coming up through you so i will be getting some of those in the future but i kind of didn't know if i had all the kinks worked out in this system yet this is the first tr build to this extent that i've ever done with the ported top in and taking out everything but i did decide that i was going to go ahead and reinstall the one-way bearing as long as all the starter gears and the starter so we got all that back in there I took the capacitor out and put a battery back in and put all the wiring up to the front. I did have to use my handy dandy screwdriver to get this thing started. So I know I'm going to replace that relay, the starter relay, but you know, all that went in really, really well and it still has a nice clean look to it. I also was not 100% sure if my capacitor was good. So I knew that people stated that if you use the capacitor instead of a battery, it was going to take a few kicks before you actually knew if it was all going to work out. So when you have a few kicks, that few kicks is going to charge up the, you know, it was going to charge up the capacitor and the capacitor was going to have enough power to turn on the fuel pump. Well, I never really experienced much of that. And the more you did it, the more the foot started hurting and I was done with it. So. We are right about now in a position to where we can talk about a few of the other changes that we're going to be making to the machine and we'll just get real close and go through it. All right, so it does look absolutely amazing and we did a really good, well, decent clean to it. I didn't clean the wheels out really well, but I did put the greaser on the whole thing, cleaned it all up. So what you see is the same thing as what we saw before. The kicker is still installed can still kickstart it however my boots and my shoes did not work well with me we did go and get the lever perch up there i did take it for a spin around the yard just to make sure it was going to go through gears and move and it has plenty of power so everything now is back on to the starter as it goes onto the thumb however my relay right here is bad so i'm going to actually get a new relay fuel pump and everything seems to be working right now however you know one of the telltale signs is that it loses 
it, it'll turn off right after you give it throttle. So I'm probably going to replace that. We did put all the hardware back into the other side, clamps and hoses. We did the swirl filter delete, with the shutoff valve right here, a little simple shutoff valve, nothing crazy. The plastics were delivered today, but we're going to talk about that in another video. And we re-ran all the wires up to here and the battery to be in the air box right here. Um, that's about it for right now. All right, so the other parts that have come in the mail are we did have lug nuts. Those were delivered today. We have the air filter that's been delivered and that's going to be changed out. We have plastics. We have a seat cover. So today's video going to be doing is we're going to be getting the yeah we're going to be getting the lug nuts changed out we're going to be getting the air filter installed we do have a new rear bumper and with that rear bumper it is a nice i think it's a xfr we're going to get it powder coated to match the front so it's going to be orange in the rear as well ain't no need for a whole whole bunch of silver so we're going to get that done so one two three things and then next video we'll be stripping the seat down getting the seat installed and then going towards plastics and putting the power commander on here so stay tuned we're going to get this rolling and enjoy the video for the most part we got things pretty much where we wanted them to be with the ltr built so far i did decide that i was going to get a new battery so i did go in and get in order a anti-gravity sc1 battery and that's what's going to be going in this but right now what i'm going to do is set the camera up we're going to get this rear bumper powder coated and we're going to get it installed along with the lug nuts and the air filter so we're going to get it rolling real quick. Alright, so that powder went on just as I hoped it did. Looks really good. But right now we're going to get the LTR rolled back in here. We're going to go ahead and get the lug nuts on and we're going to start working on that air box or the air filter. And hopefully by the time we're done with these two things, that'll be coming out the oven and we can get this all wrapped up really quickly.
So basically, the hardware is a little bit harder to see, but ProFlow is gonna glow up. We're gonna put the bolts in through and then secure them on the back side with other nuts and things. So it's not gonna be horrible, but it is gonna be a little bit more of a challenge to see. And this O-ring sits right on here. And we're just gonna have it facing just like that. So we got it all done, looking good. You really can't see it back behind us. I'm gonna flip the camera, do a walk around, and we're gonna get some pictures tomorrow. All right, so if you do not start with the machine that's already running that you're gonna put an electric start on, I will say you're gonna have a few disadvantages. So I was unable to tell if my fuel pump was fine because I didn't have a 12 volt continuous source. Well, I do, but I didn't have one at that point in time. I wasn't able to, you know, just prime and see if the fuel pump was going to cut on because with the capacitor set up, you kick a couple of times and it gives enough charge to then turn the fuel pump on. The fuel pump then pressurizes the system and then you're able to get some fuel coming through the fuel injector. I was not able to check any of that. It turns out that my pressure regulator is bad. So I didn't find that out until I put the electric start back on. So thank God I already had the starter here and I did not sell all those parts. So I did take the stator side off and I put the, I did put the two starter gears as well as the one way bearing back on. So it was not really of a problem. So when I removed the capacitor, I did use my son's firepower, firepower featherweight battery. It has higher cold cranking amps. So. We used it and I was able to get the machine started at the end of that video. So we're all at a plus, things are looking good. We're gonna be troubleshooting things at the later video and we are gonna go ahead and replace that battery with one of those anti-gravity batteries. I think it's the SC1 that I'm gonna be looking at, but stay continued, stay looking at the channel. I appreciate the advice. I appreciate the support and we're gonna get this machine running and good to go here soon. Cruising 
in my lane fast, call it high speed. I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly. If you think you'll win, ha, not likely. I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy. Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing. In the front row, run it up when they hype me. The following grows, they know how to ignite me. Call me CEO, I've been running right, see. And I ain't playing games, I create my own lane, making pleasure out of pain, uh. Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change, I've been rocking this exchange, uh. Popping off and risking things, gonna make a fame, I just wanna be famous. But I don't want that cheap fame, no, I'm not that vain, I just wanna be greatness. <laughs>